All right, Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching this truth that's going all around the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect out there. All right, I'm going to make this real quick. This is your brother, Atazaran Bayath. And this is going to be a response, okay, a land back off of the elder brother in South Carolina's lesson that he did here uh, called Concerning Amalek. All right, brother. Benapa Zakwa, GMS South Carolina 08. I uh, listened to his lesson earlier this morning. And uh, we see a comment up here where he was, he was the moderator on the Elder Apostles page. And this guy here, you see, uh, uh, I, I don't know how to say his name, Jerusalem Yasharwin. Okay. And uh, the Elder made a beautiful lesson on it. Okay. Um, where this young man, he says uh, in his comment, I haven't noticed any brothers bring out who Amalek is. We are, were taught the prime minister of Israel's Amalek. Can you touch on this? And the, and the elder did an outstanding lesson on it, you know, um, but I also some things that I thought about, you know, had come to my mind as well. Um, and you can kind of, you know, when you get a question like this, you know, you can tell that, you know, that this is a younger person, right, in the faith, okay, because as the elder mentioned, there are many, many brothers, right, who always uh, do lessons or have multiple lessons <clears throat> on their pages concerning uh, Amalek, all right, so that that's not a true statement, and, and that was brought out in the elder's lesson, However, I'm going to land back off of it, like I said, because, you know, the one thing that, that, that younger people, you coming in, you know, you shouldn't paint with such a broad stroke, okay? Because if, if, if you're watching the men, the elders, all right, of GMS and the, and the bishops and the older brothers and going down, okay, to the younger brothers, all you would have to do is go through their page and find a lesson on Amalek or type in in the search engine, right? You can use the search engine like you use it for anything else, GMS, Amalek, okay? Um, and all kinds of lessons will come up. Now, also, you know, we teach it in uh, using code names, right? We might say the issues, we might say the the, the nineteen forty eighters, right? We might we might we might uh, do a lesson on so called. Well, we might put E saw. You know, we we do it in code so that it doesn't get taken down, right? And ever since this war that they've had started over the last year over there in that land, we've done various lessons on this. Okay, and uh, so that's not true, you know, um, and I just kind of went through my page and I'm just going to use my page. And I know brothers in, 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 in the camp here in St. Louis have have done multiple, multiple lessons. In fact, one our elder brother, the, the, the head of the camp here, he's done a whole series on Amalek. So that's not true. OK, like here, uh, you can see right here where I got. The cursor, it says what? Fake-ish and fake Christians, right? So I did not uh, I did a lesson there on, on, on the, on the uh, Amalekites, okay? And, um, and that was what? Two years ago, maybe? And then here, here's another one, okay? On this, whatever, whatever that guy's name, uh, Noah Arari, son of perdition, he's an Amalekite. So there's one there. You know, you got to go and, and search for what you're looking for, but understand that, you know, in these times, we use code words as well. Okay? Let me see if I can find another one. I'm sure there's another one in here. Um, here. Here's another one. Small Hatters. Say third woe may have started, right? When they started this mess over there in that land now. You see? So Jake got to understand, okay, don't don't paint with such a broad stroke when you don't know what you're talking about. And if you and if you're young, you should just 
be listening right now. Okay? Don't don't say that men are not doing one particular thing, okay? And like I said, I don't have that, that much time to do this lesson. I just wanted to do a quick linebacker, getting ready for camp. All right, but uh, when, I, when I watched the elders' lesson, uh, you know, that made me think about that, okay? Because you put something like that on the comment board, and that's not true, okay? Let me see if I had anything else that I could see right quick. And I'm sure there's many other lessons in here. But anyway, you know, any brother that, you know, to that, to that young man, you know, any brother that you watch, you watching the elders, go through the page and find the lessons on Amalek. Don't, don't just say that there's no lessons on it. That's, that's not true. Okay. All right. So let's get a couple of quick scriptures here. All right. Because <clears throat> I've, I, and, and, and I'm going to pull these scriptures because what, going back to what I was saying, what, what brought it to my attention, or what made me think is, you know, I've had a question, you know, a, a week or so ago. Somebody tells me, Salakia, oh, well, I don't have a problem with the doctrine, but my question is, how do we know that we these people, okay? You know, Jake always come up with something. You know, they're just not satisfied with what they hear, right? They... Nonetheless, I mean, they can't even disprove it, but, you know, they want you to give them something tangible, right? Like outside of having faith, okay? And outside of what the scriptures provide you, you know, Jake is Jake is an unbeliever, okay? Um, so I, I had that experience last week with someone who, who, who told me, well, I can, I can see your point. I can see what you're saying, but how do we know that we these people? You know, so uh, I'm just going to uh, read these couple of scriptures because there are a lot of people out there who, who, who may think that. All right. So this is Romans 8 and 16. It says the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. That's how we know. OK. When the, when the scriptures are coming out and the prophets are speaking, it should resonate with your spirit. And that's how you know. You know, um, Jake will give more credence to those people in that land, but they haven't proven that they're the people. Well, they're not, but Jake will look at that and say, yeah, them the Jews. Well, how do you know? You want proof from us, but you don't require that same proof from them. You know, that's how bugged out Jake is. Okay. So let's read the uh, rest of this, verse 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, joint heirs with Mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the of power. Okay? So through the Spirit, we, re, we, we know that we are joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, okay, and that we are these sons who are coming back, okay? If that doesn't sit with you, then guess what? It's most likely if, if the Lord doesn't change that, if he doesn't drop the scales from your eyes, then most likely you are two-thirds, no matter if you did change your name to 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 uh, Israelite name, all right? Verse 20, for the creatures... So like, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has sub subjected the same in hope, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty, what, of the children of the Most High. You see? So through the Spirit, we know that we are these children. It's not that hard. Okay? But Jake makes it hard. So Jake wants... What he wants, he wants concrete evidence and proof, you know, something that he could put his hands on. All right. And there are things that we have. There are relics. There are things that, you know, and, and right now we don't possess them. OK. All right. Because we're in exile. We're people in exile. We're not in our homeland. All right. We're scattered. But wherever we are, all right, through the spirit in this day and age, this time period, all right, when we hear these words and the scriptures, you know, 
your 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 mind, your spirit perks up. You understand. You're quickened. Okay, as a scripture, as one scripture says. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go to um, verse 22. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption. Who's supposed to be adopted? Right? The Israelites. The ones who are coming back. The ones who are quickened by the Spirit. The one that the Spirit, you know, is in agreement with our Spirit. Our Spirit is in agreement of the Spirit of the, of the Holy One. Okay? We come back. We're adopted back in. All right? Waiting for the adoption to with the redemption of our body, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for it? Right, it's our faith. We don't have to see something concrete in order, because the Spirit is confirming, right, that we are the children of the living power, okay? And we'll finish it out uh, at verse 25, but if we hope for that, we see not, then do we with patience wait for it, right? So we're waiting for our deliverance. We're waiting for our salvation. We're waiting for our new bodies. We're waiting for all of this, okay, right? But but as far as teaching about who we are, we do that in every lesson, right? That's what you should be really thinking about, okay, is is what, what, what through the Spirit you're going to gain, okay, if I could say it that way, through the Spirit, how you're going to be changed, all right. So those people in that land, we and, and that's another thing, you know, it's taught various brothers have done various numerous lessons on what? The Bell for Declaration, right? Teaching about the tribe of of of, of, of tribes of, of Esau and the chief tribe being Amalek, all kind of lessons. Okay? So, you know, that young man is in error when he when he put that up, you know, and, 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 and the elder brother caught it, you see. And it's just something to use for edification, okay? Because there may be somebody else who's thinking that way, you see. So let's go over to John real quick, and we'll read this, John 14 and 23. And it reads, Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our boat with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which he hear is not mine, but the father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. Verse 26, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. So at this point, we don't have to have any tangible proof, right? Because the Spirit has confirmed all things to us. All right? But Jake is always looking to, to really low-key be a naysayer, be an unbeliever, Right? Because, I, like I said, I was asked that particular question is, but how do we know? You know, uh, these are scriptures that you can use and say this is how we know, okay? Because they, it's done through the Spirit. It's done, th it's done through faith, okay? And uh, just to reiterate, going back to, to uh, Amalek, well, yeah, there's countless thousands of videos concerning uh, when we speak about the MOTB, who's in charge of all of that? Okay? When we talk about the Idumians, who do you think they are? When we talk about those people that land, who do you think we're talking about? We're talking about Amalek. Okay? We talk about putting them into slavery, as the scriptures say. Okay, it's referring to all of Esau, but his chief house is Amalek. All right, so I just wanted to do a little land back off of that, you know, concerning this uh, this post. All right, this comment off the comment board. 
fight. And uh, like I said, Elder Benatha Zakwa, GMS, South Carolina 08. And for you brothers and sisters out there, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this Elder's page, all right? Great edifying lessons and live streams. The man stay busy working, okay? Subscribe to his channel. But when you see something like this, you know, that's that's not a true statement, okay? All right? Um, not not so much to beat the brother up, you know, this this young guy who, who made the comment, but, you know, just when you're on the Apostles pages or any of the elders pages, man, and you not you don't know what you really, you know, talk about, just, just be quiet and listen, you know? I mean, just listening will do wonders for you, you know? Um, just because the comment board is there doesn't mean you have to make a comment. Just listen, all right? So I got to get ready to go. I'm going to cut it short, all right? Once again, give it all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders. Great millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. See you all again real soon with another blessing. Shalom.